all right guys this is bank nifty and daily chart as we discussed yesterday uh, i told that the bank nifty are targeting to this level so here we can see around 31000 have you seen it so yesterday price was somewhere here and we are targeting to this level so exactly we have seen price hit that level so right now we can see forming a head and shoulder pattern so where is the head and shoulder pattern now we have seen this is the left shoulder reverse back and I create new high which is called head and reverse back again we have seen next uh, next shoulder right so here we have seen this is called left shoulder right shoulder and head and somewhere here we have seen this is called neckline but still they are not confirmed all right so once price sustain a run below or toward downside so it will uh, recognize as a head and shoulder pattern but remember sometime what happened price of running like that right hit to reverse hit to reverse hit and again reverse so in that case we will we will confirm that price will run in this range all right that will be our trading range right now you can see price a little more below here we are expecting price will continue to our downside and then let me draw next uh, supporting line so I wanna connect next the support line somewhere here uh, near 200 exponential moving average. So I drawn it here. All right. So let me show uh, in H uh, H4 chart. In H4 chart we have seen uh, there are supporting area which is formed by 200 exponential moving average in H4. So I drawn here. So right now we have seen this is color range and let me draw the range properly now i can see this is called range have you seen it so rule is that in between this range we never gonna take any position and the next uh, let me draw another range 10 line somewhere here and i connect the most touches point right? most touches point somewhere here like that now you can see this is our trading range so we are looking for buy if price sustain above this range. Remember, we never know price where it will go. So that is why we need a probability, more confirmation, high probability entry point. All right. So in that case, if price sustain above this area, so we are looking for buy. All right. We never know price might again retest this resistance line for the sell we are looking for breakout this range so once price sustain below the supporting line so we'll looking for short and target will be somewhere here around 29,900. all right so we have seen that uh, that is our trading range let's uh, let me show you in h1 chart in h1 chart we have seen prices running in a downtrend all right and right now you can see price are too far from moving average have you seen uh, first we have seen price are respecting moving average 7 and two moving uh, 20 moving average is too far from this area so we are not looking for short right now all right and uh, let me show you in 15 minute chart how it should look like that yes 15 minute chart you can see here running in a downtrend and they are following moving average 20 and creating lower low let me show you so you can see price are respecting 20 moving average 20 and you can see price are respecting 20 moving average so right now you can see price are a little more below this 20 moving average so question is that if price hit this 20 level can i short here can I go for short again? Answer is no. Because price a little more just below this supporting range. We have seen this is the range. For the short, we are looking for a breakout. All right. So in that case, we will use breakout trading strategy. All right. 
for the buy we are looking for a crossover we need more confirmation so this is called counter trading so in my next webinar uh, i'm going to teach you when to buy during a downtrend or when to sell during a uptrend so that is called counter trading strategy all right so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe and thanks for watching